What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Network YouTube channel. Uh, very special unboxing today. Uh, gotta give a huge thank you to our friends at Mattel that sent over this no holds barred ultimate first ever two pack San Diego Comic Con 2022 exclusive. Uh, I was not expecting this. Pleasantly surprised today as this arrived. We're gonna to try to get this up as fast as possible so you can all see it. Uh, it will be available on Mattel Creations as well as at the actual Comic Con event in San Diego, which the major pot will be at covering things, doing signings. We have a panel about major bendies. So please look into that as well. But here we go. Uh, I think fans this week when you know the pictures dropped and the information dropped about this were super shocked. Pleasantly surprised. We've never gotten a two-pack ever. And actually, upon seeing the picture of the figures, I was like, right away, I was going, oh, please be a two-pack, because that would be so cool. Lo and behold, two-pack. Um, I love that this is a Comic-Con exclusive. What's that smell? Like, look at these little details like that. I love that this is a Comic-Con exclusive, because to me, this is, this is beyond WWE. This is pop culture, and I think that's what fits great. Like, a couple years ago, we had the Slim Jim Macho Man, things like that. I think that's what you want to hit in the wheelhouse when you're talking Comic-Con, you know, things that hit people outside of just wrestling, you know what I mean? I think any 80s kid remembers No Holes Barred um, for the movie for what it was. Uh, I, I'm, man, I loved this movie when I was a kid, but I, we're talking, I, I never, didn't see it in the theater, and I had, you know, I rented the tape a bunch of times, I probably watched it, you know, when I was five or six, and then I'll never forget, Matt and I were talking about it when we were in Deep South in probably like 2006, and somehow we got like a bootleg copy of a DVD and we watched it and I was blown away with how ter what a terrible movie this is. I mean, there it's just god awful. It's it and I think it's reached a point, you know, all these years later that it's awesomely uh bad. I guess we'll just go with that. That's a nice thing I say about it, but let's get cracking here. Um obviously the the past couple of years these Comic-Con exclusives the packaging has been next level so this is really almost just like a shell protector type deal there and here we have it look at that this is super cool it's depicting a double VHS with the toys presenting the movie characters as if they were the actual movie we gotta rip them on top unreal the face off on the side here no holes barred uh, I love there's a lot of little Easter eggs in here. Um, some things that I'm gonna, um, I, I wrote the guys in our chat that I'm oddly proud of. You know, I mean, we have ravishing Robert Redman here, sweaty Bill McKenna. And these are things that were originated on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. So um, kind of cool. That, uh, there's a lot of cool little things like that. Uh, I'm not gonna read the whole copy on the back. Sorry, Robert, but uh, definitely cool. No ring, no rap, no rules. Hulk Hogan and Zeus, no holes barred. I mean, if that's not next level, then I don't know what is. I also gotta figure out how to open this. All right, that's another layer of this packaging, and then we reveal the VHS. That is amazing. The face-off continues here, and it's uh, see-through, kind of, there's no cellophane there, or plastic or anything, that's just right on through. And then look at the back, what I'm looking at here. Depicting an old-school VHS, if you don't know what that is, look it up on YouTube, I'm sure there's documentaries about it. No holds barred, it looks like the videotape, I mean, that is as nostalgic and as cool as I've ever seen packaging. Now, I'm gonna guess on how to do this. Wow, really cool. Collector warning. It's the ultimate WB action figure that collectors have always wanted, featuring advanced articulation, multiple swappable parts, ultimate edition figures are allowing collectors to capture memorable superstar moments, recreate authentic entrance poses, epic mid-match comebacks, and your signature finishing moves in the ultimate realistic detail with the WWE Ultimate Edition figures. All right, I think this is how we go for this because obviously I've never opened a pretend double VHS two-pack of Ultimates before, but there's two little tabs here. Okay, got that part out. Very cool. Now we see inside, the face off still going on here. Zeus and Hulk Hogan, I think. Additional accessories include, okay, so that's all in there. Let's, oh, dude, I don't think I've ever seen blister like this. This is wild. How am I gonna... I guess my plan for right now is to not be too aggressive with this because I don't want to, um... Okay, there's some tape. I don't want it to be destroyed. I want to kind of be able to put it back in for now. I don't know what my ultimate plan is, but... 
dispose of that tape. Uh, most excited about the first ever Mattel Zeus figure. Uh, Tiny Lister um, passed away uh, just a little bit ago. Famous for Debo in the movie Friday. Uh, I mean, I kind of went down a little rabbit hole of his stuff last night. There's some shoot interviews with him on YouTube and stuff. And uh, there's a WWE playlist of all his matches. Z Gangsta in WCW, if you know your, your stuff. Uh, legit blind in that crazy eye that he's got. Um, very cool. So yeah, he was a legit actor that just got this role in this movie. And then it was never planned for him to be WWF superstar, but they kind of just rolled with it because it was going so good and they used it to promote the movie. But there he is, the Z's on the side, the one Z on the side of the head, that awesome face. I'm curious to see what's in these accessories. While well, I'm at it, check this out. This is the, the channel in the movie that WTN. So that's another little kind of Easter egg thing. It kind of looks like it could be like the ring and the interview station in the movie. <clears throat> Let's get Big Terry out here. Hulk, I mean, Mattel's been hitting home runs with these Hogan's. They have this body is so perfect, I want to say, you know, at this point. You know, it's just been, it's been on a couple things that we know. That it's got that unique Hogan build. They've got pretty much down perfectly. Do I have a little bands in here? I don't want to mess up. That Hulk Hogan hot dog skin tan, which I think you need for the likeness. It's spot on. Looks freaking great. I have to say, the presentation of this, all very cool, but unlike years past, like the slaughter of the matcha, it's going to be very difficult, I think, to get this back in the way you like it. Here he is, hot dog skin. The ultimate articulation, those butterfly joints, which is super cool. I mean, you could, the things you can do with this are kind of unlimited as far as posability. The white winged eagle title, which I do not recall being in the movie, but I'm assuming it definitely was. Uh, Zeus with the Z-Belt, great things, and looks like all the fun stuff is in here, so let me go for that. Wow, look at that. Very cool inside. We got the rip em shirt, which is the coolest. Um, the other thing that I did not remember from the movie, what was this Zeus's headband, I believe? Whoa, okay. A way crazier Zeus head. Two Hogan heads, three sets of hands. This one is, um, this is a big one here. So one, we get the rip em shirt, which is a Hulk Hogan style shirt that you can rip. He also has the, uh, the cross necklace. If you didn't know, but Rip wore blue. Hulk Hogan obviously wears the yellow and red. Get that on there. Boom. Okay, the Rip Em shirt. Now that, to me, screams no holds barred. I didn't remember this, but this in my kind of research last night, in my rabbit hole, I thought it was the Superfly Jimmy Snooker, but it's not. It's got a gnarled pointer there. That's the Rip Em sign. And he does it throughout the whole movie. He comes out and he's like, I don't even know how, like, how, like, it's not something you can do fast, but he was, Argh. so. If you're posing this, I mean, these are one of a kind hands. It's not like they're like, oh, let's give them the rip them hands. Like, we have those in our database. No way. You've got to make these things. Got to use them. I kind of like the crazy face that's on there. The other ones are pretty, uh, pretty neutral, I'd say. Definitely giving them that rip headband. I've always heard that Hogan and Vince wrote this movie, just hanging out at Vince's pool, so I think that explains a lot. Look at that. Oh, man. Rip him, brother. Incredible. So cool. Like I said, any 80s kid, you know what No Holds Barred is. You know what it was about. Okay, I'm going to put Hogan stuff to the side and start messing with Zeus here. Zeus, come on. This is awesome. This is way cooler than I thought it would be. Uh... Plastic, saw, uh, you know, the soft rubber with Zeus's giant, like, entrance vest. Kind of like, uh, football pads from hell kind of thing. That rules. I think I'm gonna, this face is really good, but the screen face is cool, too. Whoa. Uh, C-grips, if you care. Nothing too crazy there. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, dude. This, <laughs> this rules. Oh, my God. Get the Zeus 
Headband on there. It's friggin' SummerSlam 89 time. Zeus. I mean that, like what what like what more could you ask for from Mattel here? This is a Comic-Con exclusive, folks. This is the real deal. Zeus. So cool. Uh, never did I think we'd get a Zeus Mattel. We got one. This also makes me wonder and get a little itchy for a, Ze a Zeus retro would would hit the spot. He'd fit right in there. That'd be very cool. Uh, so hopefully that's in the cards. Just a home run from Mattel here. The No Holds Barred San Diego Comic Con 2022 exclusive. Make sure you pick it up. MattelCreations.com, I believe. And at the booth in San Diego itself. So, uh, I mean, this, this was a pleasant surprise. Did not see it coming. And I think uh, Ultimate fans are very thrilled. So, great job, Mattel. Thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about these Ultimates. Until next time, wait.